कंडीशनल प्रॉबेबिलिटी डी ओवर सी प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ डी ओवर सी विच इज़ इक्वल टू प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ डी एंड सी ओवर प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ सी सो वट इज़ प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ डी एंड सी जीरो पॉइंट थ्री एंड वट इज़ प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ सी जीरो पॉइंट फोर विच इज़ इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव ओके सो इट वॉज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू टू एंड पार्ट बी ओके जी एंड डेट आर म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव इवेंट्स प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ जी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ एच इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री एक्सप्लेन बाय द फॉलोइंग मस्ट बी फॉल्स प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ एच ओवर जी ओके प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ एच ओवर जी शुड बी इक्वल टू एंड देर सेंग दैट प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एच ओवर जी इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर एंड वाई इज दिस फोर सो हाउ यू कंट यू प्रूव दिस सो अकॉर्डिंग टू फार्मूला इट्स प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ई एच एंड जी ओवर प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ जी एंड एवरी वन नोज वेन द टू एवर्स एम म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव एच एंड ए जी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू जीरो इट्स नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर so therefore option a is incorrect it was part a okay part b probability of h or g what is the formula to find probability of h or g its probability of h plus probability of g minus probability of h and g what is probability of h 0.3 पॉइंट थ्री प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव माइनस जीरो जीरो पॉइंट एट ऑप्शन सी आर एच एंड जी इंडिपेंडेंट और डिपेंडेंट इवेंट सो फॉर डिपेंडेंस और इंडिपेंडेंस वट वी डू प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एच ओवर जी शुड बी इक्वल टू प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एच and h over g is 0 and probability of h is 0.3 which are not equal so no there are or they are just asking are they independent or dependent so you can write they are independent dependent or they are not independent. Okay. Question number three. So there is a table, and the table identifies a group of children by one of four hair colors and by type of hair. Okay. So first of all, we are going to complete the table. How to complete the table? For uh, a part, a part says to complete the table for baby hairs. For the first row, it's going to be twenty. Plus fifteen, plus three, and the total would be subtracted from. It should be written like this: forty-three subtracting twenty plus fifteen plus three, and it's going to give the blonde hairs, which is five. Next is straight hairs. Twelve uh, plus three is fifteen over here. It's fifteen. Twenty plus eighty is hundred over here, and for the totals, totals can be done like two one five minus hundred plus twenty plus fifteen, which is going to give us eighty over here. So eighty minus fifteen is going to give us the straight here, so it is sixty five, and we're going to add all the straight ones. Straight. Straight ones are eighty plus fifteen plus sixty-five plus twelve, which is going to give us one seventy. So this is the way that we completed the A part. It is complete the table. Now, what is the probability that a randomly selected child will have baby hairs? Part B, baby hairs. Baby, how many baby hairs? Forty-three. What is the total? Two one five. So it would be. Probability of baby hairs forty three by two one five, which is equal to zero point two. Part C. 
what is the probability that a randomly selected child will have either brown or blonde either brown so what is the probability of either brown it means brown or blonde which is this is l blonde which is equal to probability of brown hairs plus probability of blonde hairs minus probability of br and bl so what is the probability of brown hairs 100 by 215 probability of blonde hairs 20 over 215 and we know that a single person can't have blonde and uh, blonde and brown hairs at a time so their and would be zero so it would be 120 over 215 and it is equal to 0.555 part d what is the part d says what is the probability that a randomly selected child will have wavy brown hairs it's wavy and brown wavy and brown means it's 20 by 215 Which is equal to zero point zero nine. Part E. What is the probability that randomly selected child will have red hair, given that he or she has red hairs? So it's a condition probability. So it's going to be red hair over straight hair, given that he or she has red hairs. So what are the red and straight like? Red. And straight to twelve over one seventy two. Which is equal to zero point zero seven. As many students have done this question wrong, so let's do with the help of formula. Probability of R over probability of S means that here is and straight here is probability of R and S over probability of S. So what is R and S? Red here and straight here twelve. And probability of S is one seventy two. Which is zero point zero seven. Part F. If B is the event of a child having brown hairs, find the probability of complement of B. Brown hairs, brown hairs is hundred over two one five. So probability for brown hairs is hundred over two one five, and the complement of brown hairs would be one minus hundred over two one five, which is going to give the answer zero point five three. Four. The last question. In words, what is the complement of B means? So B means uh, brown hairs, and complement of B means the child has child does not have brown hairs. Because complement means the thing which is not there. So child does not have brown hairs. He can have he or she can have. Can have any other color, excluding brown hair. 